My name is Janie and I am going to do a Packers makeup tutorial today for the Packers vs. Steelers Super Bowl makeup contest. I'll put a little piece of paper up at the beginning of this, hopefully, when I learn to edit. Um, as you can see, I already did my one eye, so I just had to be at my camera, and so I've already primed my face and put foundation on. Um, so let's get started with the eyes. I kind of primed this eye a little bit with the tinted moisturizer and the um, the Age Rewind Primer. The first thing I'm going to do is take my NYX Jumbo Pencil Milk that I depotted, which was really easy. I thought it was going to be a pain in the butt. But all I did was put the pencil and this in a coffee cup and throw it in the microwave for like four minutes and it all melted into you. And it was easy. There was no mess. It was fine. So I'm going to take my ring finger. Always use your ring finger. And I'm just going to apply that lightly over my eye. I wear gas permeable contacts, so I have to be really careful when I'm putting things on my eye because I will push that contact right off. And this color is just really going to act as a base for all the other colors that we're going to put on. Um, you're not really going to see it. And I especially need it because I'm such a pale skinned girl that I just absorb all color. So I really need to put that base on. The second thing I'm going to do is put, it's almost as a, a second base, it's the Maybelline Eyeshadow Trio um, in Petals to the Metal. I actually bought it for this great reddish color in the middle, which I used for USC, which is my alma mater where I went to school, um, for that makeup. And then I found that this gold color right here is great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ring finger again, and I'm just going to start in the inner corner of my eye and pat that on and that can be a little bit thicker than the NYX Jumbo Pencil. You don't want the Jumbo Pencil to be too thick because then you'll start to crease but this just gives a great golden -y, sparkly glow to the eye and I don't, I go all the way over a little bit on the bottom. It really doesn't matter because the stuff that we cover with green will be green either way. Um, on days like casual Friday at my work or if I'm just I'm going to be in Dallas next week, so I'll probably do casual Green Bay Packer makeup every day. It's not game day. What I do is I just do this, and then I do this still a green that I'm going to use later, and that's it for my casual game watching makeup. But for full out games, we do full out eyes. So the next thing I do is I start with some yellows. And the first, I'm going to use this pencil. I believe I bought it at Target in the 90s. Um, Exhilaration, maybe? I have no idea who makes it. I have loved this pencil. It's moved out to college with me. It's moved back. It's moved to grad school. It's done it all. Um, the pencil brush. You know what I mean. Um, but because I'm so pale skin, I really have to there to get the yellow color that we want. So the first yellow that we're actually going to put on is from this um, trio from CoverGirl. It's called Blazing Blues. And we're just going to ignore the blues and go into this yellow. Come on the brush, go all the way into the corner and just pat it on. It's a really bright yellow, and you really have to layer to get the desired yellow effect that you need for this look. It's the only way to get it all there. So just go ahead and layer, 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 pat, pat, pat. Um, I get a lot of fallout probably because I use a brush from Target from years ago and Cover Girl instead of going out and buying Mac. Um, I'll take care of all that later. In fact, that's gonna how I'm going to shape the eye. So now that I've done that, you can kind of see it's really, I apologize for the lighting, but it's just really yellow right now. And the eye I'm gonna, trying to get is a little bit more golden. Um, gold doesn't look good on me, so I try to get as much of the yellow base as I can. So then I'm going to use Gold Sizzle by CoverGirl and just do the same thing. I don't go all the way in on this one. I go almost all the way in. And just pat and cover that other bright, bright, bright yellow. And just keep pat, pat, patting. Really thick layer of yellow on my eye right now. Um, to try to get that to just be a little bit more golden, I add these two from the Ulta train kit. Um, it's really popular. The lighting's awful, so you can't really see, but I'm going to use this one and this one. 
to kind of get a little bit more golden -y colors. And I'm using the same brush for all my yellows. I can use it later to help blend. They're all just going to merge into one color, so I really don't care about mixing that brush. Um, and I'm just going to put this on the middle of my eye and pat from the crease down and just kind of blend it into that yellow. I don't want this golden -y color in the corner of my eye. That just does not look good on me. I want it to kind of gradient from a light yellow to a darker gold, um, which I really hope you can see. Um, you should be able to see it in the pictures. Okay, I got this package from Scylla. It's gorgeous. I bought it. It was on sale for like $10. I needed to buy something to get my iPhone kit um, case. I love this, this whole package. It's The colors are so intense, and this thing down here can be used as blush. Um, lip gloss is gorgeous. But so we're going to take the green color, which is highly pigmented, and this is the one that if I'm just being more casual, I'll just take my gold mini base and this green color and <clears throat> wear that. And I'm using the same kind of brush that I used before. It just has a little bit of a different head, and I think it's just because I got like a off one. Either that or I somehow broke it. I don't think it was made to be different. And I'm going to go into my crease and just kind of draw that line in. And you know, make your V out in your corner. Just take your brush, and I just make it flat. I try to draw those lines. And I don't try to draw perfect lines. I think it helps with the blending later if it's not as perfect. And so I just try to pat that in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it instead of being flat, I'm going to go that way. And just build that green up. And this is really a lot of what your preference is. If your preference is to just have it like that, a little bit of an eye and a little bit less dramatic than that, I'm fine. Stop there. You're good. Um, I'm going to add just a little bit of more to it. Just really build it up. That's what this mostly is about, is getting the colors because they're so bright and vibrant. Just really building them up. And this green is just so vibrant and shimmery and just so not bold. So. We don't need our green bay. I mean, you can see I kind of have a lot of follow. Green bay is not that bright of a color. So what I do is I go in and I use this green in the middle. You can kind of see it has that big divot in the middle because I use it a lot. Because I always throw my green bay in the So I just get a little bit of that, and we're just going to plop that on top of the other green. I just realized you guys couldn't see me, but really get it on there just to give it a little bit of a deeper green color and a little bit more shape to it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my actual crease brush, which I probably should have used before, but I don't like to. Um, it's part of a duo from Ulta, or no, from Mira, and we're going to use both sides. So we're going to start with this crease, and I'm going to take, I don't have a matte black yet. So I'm going to take a black and kind of mix it with that green from the Ulta kit and just go in and kind of draw in that V in the corner just to kind of deepen the look. So yeah, just put that right there. Okay, and so then what we're going to do is we're going to take the other end of it, it's this like a tapered dome. I'm using this bone color from the same Ulta kit. It's gorgeous. It's a white with a yellow base. Um, and we're just going to plop that on top here. And do just nice, quick windshield wiper motions. And it helps to blend out that green so it's not so scary. Um, okay. and so then you'll see that I have a lot of fallout. So what I do to just quickly correct that um, is I take my under eye concealer. When I was practicing, I put way too much on it. So you just put a little bit, take your concealer brush, and just work it in there. It helps brush away the colors. And then I also just kind of brush it up. And that helps to keep the green where it's supposed to be and create that line without having to use the tape. 
am not a big fan of the tape. Okay. Now, I lost some of that green when I blended. So I'm going to go back in and just put a little bit of it in because you want a lot of green in your eye because it's just the Green Bay Packers. And then, okay. So now what I'm going to do is combine my eyes. And I'm horrible at lining my eyes because of the contact. There's. The first thing I'm going to do is take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Rocky Mountain Green and just line the bottom lash line, not my water line, just really close to the tip. And I'm going to go in the roots. I'm going to go just to the color part of my eyes, maybe about halfway. And if you want, you can kind of emphasize up here. It's a little winged out thing. Not not super winged, because you want it to blend. But and I'm not a super winged girl. If you want to, if you want to wing it out, wing it out. Um, and then I'm going to take that same goldy base that we first used, and this is this little brush and just go in and kind of put, place some of that along the lash line and just go ahead and cover up a little bit of the green. It'll help it blend. It blends just fine on its own. You don't need to smudge it. I'm also going to take the jumbo pencil and line above my lashes just a little bit to add a little bit of green depth to the eye. And then I'm going to take my NYX felt tip liner in black and line part of my waterline. Not a lot. I just like to get to the roots, tips, or whatever they're called. And wing, take that onto the skin a little bit and then line just at the base of your top eyelashes. I don't want to see a big black line, but I just want to make my eyelashes look thicker. Okay, so I decided not to use false lashes for this look because I have really thick eyelashes and I want it to be more about the color and less about the eyelashes. But we're going to use the uh, Bare Minerals Flawless Definition. It's a real tiny little brush. It helps you get into those little bottom ones. So I do my bottom ones first and really just focus on the outside ones. Go ahead and get the little buggers on the inside. And then up top and really try to curl them and get them up. You know, just layer as much of that mascara on. Since you're not using the false lashes, go ahead, make them big. And there we go. That is the look. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope Go Pack Go, because they're going to be the, the Steelers on Sunday the 6th, and I will be in Dallas celebrating and uh, cheering them on. Go Pack Go. Thanks.